Hello my fellow senders, anime saves my life here. So this video I want to talk uh, partly about how um, we disabled people are often viewed in negative light. We're viewed as basically being beneath other people. Um, we're viewed as we're just looked down upon by a lot of people uh, in society. At least in the U.S. we are. Here's the story. Uh, basically at work I started acting like the boulder from Avatar The Last Airbender. I started referring to myself as the boulder. I would say things like, The boulder is going to rock this joint like an earthquake. So I was just doing that for fun, just making people laugh. Uh, at one point people thought I was high. My manager thought I was high. So um, then I explained to them I wasn't high. I was just acting like that just to be funny. And then I started doing it for a while. People were laughing. And so, uh, my manager was, uh, joking about going grocery shopping with me and me doing that to the employees just to joke around and mess with them. So we set it up where I went to a Kroger and I started, uh, talking to the employees. Like, um, an example is I went up to one and asked, the boulder would like to know where he could find the little chocolate eclairs. So... That's where I, um, you know, I was just mess around doing that, just to uh, joke around and talk normally, pretty much except for that part. Uh, just to have fun. And my manager's laughing. He's having fun. Uh, so my manager and I go in the checkout lane. You know, he's with his family, his girlfriend, and their daughter. So we're, you know, checking out. And this was during COVID-19, well, it's still COVID-19 right now, but this was when the toilet paper shortage was going on. So I was able to get some toilet paper, and I put it in, um, I put it on the, um, the track thing, put my groceries, stuff, everything on the track. I didn't have much, and I paid for it, and as I was, uh, while she was reading everything up, I was like, the boulder needs TP to wipe his butthole. Just being an idiot, just being, having fun. And, um, so my manager's behind me laughing, or, you know, we're just goofing off. And then the, um, after I, after I got checked out, I paid for it, and I started going out to my vehicle, and he caught up with me when I was outside and told me that she asked him if he was taking me out to the grocery store for charity. It's like, what, you think I can't, like, live on my own? I can't, you know, look, you think I can't, like, grocery shop on my own? It's, you know, there are some things I need help with, but you think I can't, like, go out somewhere with a friend and goof off? You know, it's like, she thinks, um... I mean, I'm disabled, and I do have some help, but there are some things I can do with other people, and just because I'm with someone who isn't disabled doesn't mean, you know, they're my staff or whatever, you know? It just means I could they could be my friend. And that's very demeaning, and that's an example of what it's like for people that are disabled. They could just be outside um, with someone that's a friend, and they assume the other person is their staff or... Someone taking us out for charity. It's like, no, we're just going out to eat or something like that's an example of people looking down on us. And that's something I have to deal with being disabled. It's gotten better since my, uh, since I've been, I've gotten better masking my disability, but being autistic, you know, uh, especially when I'm tired, sometimes it comes out. Um, it comes out a lot more when I'm tired because it's, it takes a lot of uh, basically acting to act like I'm not disabled. So, but that's an example where we're looked down a lot upon, upon a lot because uh, we're just not the same. We're different, and I mean, it's, it's, it's like racism, basically. I mean, you might think it's not, but it's psychologically, it is, in fact, the same process. It's basically people thinking they're superior, and it's not like being mean or anything, but not intentionally, but it, it, it's a sense of superiority. It really is. And if you look at history, I mean, we even, we even were surgically experimented on without our permission. That's an example of 
And that was in the United States. I mean, people think that I was during the Holocaust, but even in the United States, we were surgically altered or surgically experimented on against our permission. We were uh, medicinally experimented on with our consent. Um, in the sixties, we had there were ice picks being hammered into the children, our children's skulls. You know, we disabled people have been through a lot too. Um, and even today, we're looked down a lot, upon a lot by society, and it can be hard for us to get girlfriends because um, yeah, we're just looked down upon, and we're not very desirable. And people just—I mean, there are some people that look past it, but being disabled, you—it really affects your chances of getting a girlfriend because. You're just seen as lesser.